In the mountains of Fujian, in ancient China, there was once a giant serpent which devoured all the sheep and oxen of the farmers. Then, when soldiers came to fight the serpent, the serpent devoured the soldiers. The people were terrified of being eaten during the day, and even more terrified at night, when the serpent entered their dreams. The serpent said, It would leave the people in peace if they brought young girls thirteen years old to its cave in the mountains. If it could eat a young girl every month, its hunger would be satisfied. First, the governors selected the daughters of servants or criminals and delivered them as tribute to the serpent's cave. This continued for nine months until nine girls had been devoured. A man named Li Dan had six daughters and no sons. Li Qi, his youngest girl, volunteered as tribute. Her parents refused to allow it, but she said, Dear parents, you have no sons to depend on. I only waste your good food and clothes. Why don't you sell me to gain a bit of money for yourselves? But the father and mother loved her too much to agree. So Li Qi went in secret. The volunteer then asked the governors for a sharp sword and a hunting dog. She then took sweet rice balls and placed them at the mouth of the serpent's cave. The huge serpent appeared. Smelling the rice balls, it opened its mouth to eat them. Then Li Qi unleashed the hunting dog, which bit hard into the serpent. Li Qi came up behind and slashed with the sword. The serpent fought back, but finally she cut off its head. Li Qi went into the serpent's cave and recovered the skulls of the nine victims. She sighed as she brought them out, saying, Because you were afraid to fight, you were devoured. How pitiful! Slowly she made her way home. The emperor learned of these events and made Li Qi his wife. He appointed her father as the new governor, and her mother and sisters were given riches. From that time forth, Fujian was free from monsters.